morning, everyone. How are you today? Welcome to our special book week craft. Now, this week, rather than focusing on a particular book for our craft, I'm going to look at the theme. You might have seen at the, the front of this video these really strange and unusual creatures. Well, the theme for book week is curious creatures and wild minds. So you can imagine when you're reading the book, if you are a curious person, your mind can get wild with lots of imaginative things that might happen in the book. Today we want your mind to go wild and make some curious creatures yourself. Um, using anything that you have at home. Um, I know it's been hard to stock up on, on supplies with all the restrictions. So I just went around and had a look a little bit about what's in my craft book and made a few curious creatures. And I'll show you mine and how I did mine. Okay, what have we got first? Oh, my wool jellyfish. Good jelly and it's got lots of, it's got a googly eyes. So I just found some string, some wool that I had at home. And I just looped it round and round and made quite a big length of um, string and I tied it in the middle. Once I tied it in the middle, I made a bit of a ball and tied it again down here to make the head. And then I just stuck on a couple of googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, you can just draw some eyes on some paper and glue them on. Yeah, so this is our googly eyed jellyfish. Very curious creature. Oh, and then I thought maybe aliens. So, this is my Cyclops alien. And then you can see I've used um, some aluminium foil. It was stuff that I made from lasagna the other night and I kept because I thought I could use this craft. And I've just folded it in lengths, cut some bits up the side and then washed them into feet. And left a little bit in the middle. Then I've cut up an egg carton, just the one to make an eye for a Cyclops eye. Do we look like something that might come from outer space? Curious outer space alien creature. Speaking oh, about aliens, this one looks a little bit alien too. It's got stork eyes. I found that I had some lovely pipe cleaners. And pom poms, and I had a box, just a box from crackers that I had. So I, I cut the box up and I've stuck some white paper around the outside so it's all white, stuck in the pipe cleaners, and glued some pom poms. And I made a little mouth as well. So there's my alien pom pom creature. He's very happy, but he does have sharp teeth. And lastly, I thought about. Curious creatures that are um, a hybrid creature. Have you ever seen hybrid creatures? Um, if you don't have lots of things to make things with, you might want to draw a curious hybrid creature. Um, they might have um, half of one animal and half of the other. For example, you might have a half seal. And what would go with a seal? What if you had a seal and a zebra's body? That would look a bit odd. What else? What about an emu with a lion's head? Well, I've done something a little bit like that. I've got a giraffe. And I just got some paper, some yellow paper, and I made some giraffe kind of patterns and a long tube. And I cut out some ears. Didn't have any grey paper, so I just used a grey pencil, made some ears and a trunk and some googly eyes, and there we have my Alarath. Half elephant, half giraffe. Nice big wavy ears on my alley giraffe. Or giraffe event. Whatever you could call it. I think that's fun. So I hope you have some fun making some curious creatures. Maybe you could post them in the comments. 
or send us a message, a picture of one of your curious creatures. And remember, curious creatures, wild minds. Use your imaginations and have fun for the rest of book week. See you later. Thanks for joining me. Thank you.